Advancing Arizona, it is a booming industry and the need for more people with expertise in it is dire. As more announcements and investments are coming to help train more semiconductor technicians, one community college is already doing it. Our Ellen e. Dow takes us inside. It's a quote we know well, time is money. In this case, with this machine, it takes time to create and time for people to learn these machines. You need people for this. There will be some sort of integration with AI and people, you know, moving forward as AI starts to develop. But um, there's no telling how far it will go yet, right? Build the circuit uh, across over to the motor. By day, Intel worker. By night, Jeffrey Davis is an adjunct professor teaching these Chandler Gilbert Community College students the basics of the semiconductor industry in just 10 days an industry he became passionate about early on in life. I built my first power supply, just taking all these parts, soldering them together, putting them together, and then being able to use it to, at that time, power my uh, Walkman. So it was exciting. At 34, Dominic Ingram knew he still had time to change his career, interested in being a semiconductor tech. The funnest part for me is the schematics, um, because I think that's going to be the toughest thing as far as learning exactly how the... Uh, how to build it from from the diagram itself through the crash course boot camp there's a lot of quick learning with machines that mimic what's inside a semiconductor plant similar to intel or the new tsmc plant in north phoenix it gives the students an opportunity to see how some of the automation may happen in the factories is 10 days enough 10 days i think is enough Davis says some of his students from boot camp now work with him at Intel. The Maricopa Community College District says after the 10 day boot camp, they keep in contact with the students to see if they were hired for a semiconductor job. Of those who respond, 26% of them say they got hired. It's an industry that needs more people quickly. According to the White House, it's estimated there's a need of 100,000 new technicians over the next decade to help meet demand, which here they're doing it yeah. one 10 day boot camp at a time. It's a lot of information to take in at once. And I think some, having some of my uh, classmates around that made the, the blow a little easier, too, because we actually get to work together as a team. In Mesa, Eleni Dow, ABC 15, Arizona. Eleni, thank you.